the indie boy haircut, AKA the TikToker haircut, but more specifically, I really wanna go over how to achieve what I say is literally like a messy mop top. Um, a lot of these hairstyles are grown out. They're, you know, layered, and it's just a matter of running your fingers through your hair and getting all sorts of crazy texture and having the hair stick up and making it look kind of like an, an organized mess, if that makes any sense. So what I want to do is kind of break down a haircut, what you should say to, you know, a barber or a stylist, and just some key things on how to achieve this type of haircut. So let's start with the back or the nape area of this haircut. Now you can either have it buzzed, you know, like maybe like a number three guard or a number four guard, or you can just have it where the back is an inch and a half to two inches long and it's kind of more of a grown out type of look. I'm seeing a lot of guys have both. Usually um, the more the messier it is on top, the more it's a little bit longer throughout the sides and the back. So the sides here, you know, you can cut it around the ear or to the top of the ear, but everything pretty much comes down to this one part, right? Even to, to, throughout the top. So when you're getting your hair cut, as long as everything from here reaches down here, this is what kind of helps make it look a little bit clean and neat is the fact that yes, it may look like it's, you know, a nice tapered cut, but in fact, it's pretty long. It just happens to be to the top or around the ear. And then everything else, just as you can see here, comes down to where the entire front of the hair is probably about to, and it really depends, to be honest with you, there's a variety of looks and ways you can have this, but the front could be down to the tip of the nose, it could be to the bridge of the nose, it could be to the eyebrow, it all really depends. But you need to have the hair long enough for it to do all this you know, as you can see here, you run your fingers through it and it's a, a, just a crazy style. That's what a lot of this is. It's just a lot of hair sitting on top of the head um, and, and, you know, you're utilizing all of it for the hairstyle, you know? Like you're making every single part of the look to be a bit kind of more flipped out or a bit scrunchy or a bit, you know, messy. And that's kind of, uh, it's been a huge hair trend. I don't know what it is. It's because guys are getting lazy. They don't want to get their haircuts. I mean, obviously because of quarantine, that's a lot of haircuts have been grown out, but for the most part, it's really all about having enough hair. So let's talk about the layers and, and the actual haircut throughout the front here. So the whole top of this haircut has to be layered. And what does layering mean or what are layers? Well, layers are pieces of hair that are cut to create movement and to remove weight. That's what layering does is it removes weight which allows the hair to flow. If you have the hair that's really long and all one length, most of the time, most likely it's not going to have the movement you're looking for. So you need to have it layered, even though you still want it to be a bit longer. Layers really, really is key. Next is the blow dry. <clears throat> so I would suggest using my number one selling product, which is back in stock, Tidal Wave. You spray in Tidal Wave when it's wet, and then you blow dry it, and I've done videos on how to get the TikTok look and the blow dry methods. I've done those videos already, so you can definitely check them out. But you will get kind of a scrunched look. This really is a great product because it has a lot of texture to it. And it's not overly sea salty or gritty or grimy, which is why I love it. And that will allow you to create a base for the style. All right, next up is what I think is a, is a trick and a tool that if you're not getting a perm and you've got straight hair, it's this right here. And I just did a video on this. This is a mini travel size smoothing iron. And these are available for sale on my website. I only have about, <clears throat> I think like 16 or so left because everyone's been buying them. But especially for guys in shorter hair, this is really ideal because it's not a super heavy, bulky one or it's not super long, it's easy to work with. 
So you can really, really uh, utilize something like this to achieve a variety of styles. So you can use either a brush like this. I also sell these vent brushes, which has a nice rubber base, a rubber grip, so you have a good solid grip on it. And you can do a number of things. So the key here is to create flips and layers. So what you want to do is you want to go in to the style vertically, right? You want to go in vertically and almost lift the hair like so. So everything is coming out from the head. It's all coming out from the head. And what that's doing is it's really helping just smooth out that hair and create some movement. And it's also setting in a little bit of the shape as well. So I'm doing this fairly easily, right? This goes up to about 390 degrees Fahrenheit. And what I'm doing here is I'm just literally using the iron here, the hot tool, to just create some shapes. Now what you can do, another trick is as you can see here, I'm flipping the hair upwards. So I'm gonna take it in this section and I'm going to turn it towards me and just hold it for a second and I'm gonna flip it upwards like this. This is really helpful because it helps set in the hair a little bit to create a little bit of that flip as you can see. And you can do this as extreme as you want. What you're really trying to do is you're really trying to create some texture in the hair and some move and bend as you can see. It's now curling upwards. So we're really trying to smooth it and curl it in a way that it goes the opposite of what it was. And even if you just have some of these pieces like this, it's still gonna be very, very helpful in the end result because as you can see now, it's allowing for us to get that shape and that style. So all I'm doing is flipping the iron around, pulling the hair towards me, and now I'm facing it upwards to create a little bit of movement and texture. And a lot of times you're gonna need this, especially if your hair is on the heavier side, if it's just straight, doesn't do much, this is going to be a lifesaver for a lot of you. Turning it towards me, make sure you do this on fully dry hair. And you definitely need to hold it for a few seconds because you want the heat to really uh, create that sort of bend in the hair. But you don't want to hold it super long that you're going to break your hair and fry it. And I'm going through the entire head like this. Uh, feel free to do as much as you want. But as you can see, we're getting through this relatively quickly. Great. So now make sure you turn the iron off and be very, very, very careful. So now the hair right, is ready to style. Now this is on the longer side. Again, <clears throat> I'm seeing a lot of people that have their hair longer like this. What you can do is this is my hairspray called Locked. It's actually a light to medium hold, but it's a very, very extreme matte finish. That's what's amazing about this hairspray. You twist the, the cap, and then what you can do is bring the hair back, spray it like so, and then bring the hair forward. So bring it like that, spray it, and then you're getting that texture. And as you can see in through here, you're getting all of this to kind of stand up and to go up. So a lot of these guys, what they do is they just kind of run their fingers through their hair like this. And it's really about pushing back and pushing forward, right, to create that kind of flip right throughout the front, as you can see. So let's do the whole head like this, bring everything back, and then we'll kind of use our fingers to style it. Again, it's literally like, I call it like a mop, <laughs> mop top. Um, but here is an example. And then scrunch it down and pull. And there we go. So I know that dude, Quentin Griggs, has his hair kind of like this. A lot of these guys have their hair like this. It's just, again, I don't know what the, uh, the fascination is, but it's a very, very popular hairstyle. And 
yeah, a lot of people like it. So there you go. Now I will, I will warn you that this is the kind of hairstyle that it will end up kind of falling flat, especially if it's too long. So this hair type or this hairstyle may be a bit too long and that's what's gonna cause it. So if your hair is, you know, really, really long, if it is like this, where it's a bit more on the grown out side, you will have a bit more of a challenge trying to style it and hold it in place. But that's where this locked hairspray comes in because it's really easy to work with. You spray it in the hair, it kind of helps lock it in place, but it's also got like a medium hold and it doesn't have any shine to it, which is very, very helpful. So you can manipulate the style a bit and you can create some sort of cool, fun texture. Um, again, a lot of this is with your hands. A lot of it's just kind of sculpting at the place and then brushing back and kind of pulling down to create that kind of pieceness throughout the front. Do I despise this haircut? No, I mean, it just, to me, I look at it and as a hairstylist for as long as I've been cutting hair, it just to me is a big mess. But a lot of these, you know, TikTokers and indie people who have these types of haircuts, they're getting their hair bleached. So it's giving it some character. It's just something new, it's a new trend. I mean, so if you want to embrace it, then go for it. Uh, it this definitely works best on straight to wavy hair types, right? A lot of these guys, like I mentioned, are getting perms. So if you want to get a perm, that's totally cool and up to you. If you want to make it more of like that curly look that I've done, like with Josh Richards, uh, I've done a lot of those haircut tutorials already. And if you're looking for any of those types of looks, just search the Salon Guy TikTok or Salon Guy eBoy, whatever. I have loads and loads of videos on those types of hairstyles and stuff. You know, what do you say to your stylist or barber? I would highly suggest going to a hairstylist or something like this. Um, it requires a lot of knowledge on how to layer hair, how to shape hair. I hate to see somebody go to a barber and they pull out the clippers and just start butchering your hair. It, again, it really comes down to finding a really good stylist. I would say let your hair grow out more, right, than anything and go in and say, I just want to trim or show some photos or show that you want the hair down to about the bridge of your nose. It's really important to show them and point to where you want the length to be. And then you can say, I just, you just want some layers on top and they might say, well, it's, you could say, leave it long and messy. That's the best thing to do. I want my hair to be longer on top and very, very messy. That is usually a key to me when someone says that, that means, okay, if they want it messy and long, that means they're gonna probably want some sort of surfer haircut. You can mention even that. I want like a surfer look where it's very long in the front and flowing. Those are the, the again, use keywords and phrases that a hairstylist can connect with. Use visuals, point where you want the hair length to be. Show pictures of what you want the hairstyle to look like. And that should really help you out quite a bit. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a Guy.